Hello everyone, welcome back. We have a jam-packed video for you today. We got a CGC box in, and then Angelo picked up a collection while I was at work today. It is a Silver Age collection. It has so many awesome keys, so we are gonna go through those with you today. It was a jam-packed day today for sure. Not only did we get in really cool CGC box here, like she said, we do know the grades. They've been kind of charging me for a bunch of different CGC submissions lately, so I've been trying to keep track of everything. So I do know the grades of these books, but it'll be interesting to see exactly how much everything's worth because we're really only into this for the price of the submission. We will open this up after we're done going through the collection. So here's a little sneak peek of the collection Angela picked up today. Two half long boxes down there as well that are from the collection. I guess we can just probably go through all this now. There's some like thicker westerns in here. A lot of these books, unfortunately, are mid to lower grade books. Angela ran out of bags and boards, so everything yeah. is still raw, and most of the things are in bags, but they're just not boarded. There's still some cool Sergeant Fury and the Howling Commandos. We got a whole bunch of that in there. There's some Superman, Justice League, so there is some cool stuff in these boxes, but a lot of the cool stuff is on top of the table over here. A little backstory on this collection. I picked this up today. I actually got in contact with somebody about it yesterday, which is pretty crazy how fast this all happened. They had an uncle that had passed away and they inherited a piece of his comic book collection. And that's what we're gonna see today. It was something I was not expecting at all to find. This is by far the best collection we have ever purchased. And I'm still kind of feeling euphoric about it. I hope you guys really enjoy this video. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and leave a comment down below what your favorite book was from the video. Cause there's gonna be a lot of them. All full of Silver Age and there's some Bronze Age in here. She said her uncle had been holding on to this collection for a while. It's unfortunately not all bagged and boarded. Sergeant Fury, we got issue 43, 42, and 41, 66. Some nice Sergeant Fury issues. King Size Special, 59, 37. It's always cool to see what people collect too when you pick up personal collections. Issue 50, these bags are pretty sticky. Looks like they've been stuck together for a while. She said her uncle used to do like a lot of garage sales and like yard sales and stuff. So I don't think they were kept in the best of shape, but a lot of them are complete. Yeah, some of them, the colors do look really nice. Rawhide Kid and Western books. I ran out of Silver Age bags and boards, so that's why I wasn't able to finish yeah. it up. Sergeant Fury, issue 35, 33. Looks like he was a big Sergeant Fury and Western fan. Issue 31, 29, issue 24, issue 21. It looks like some consecutive issues going down. That's fun. 19, duplicate of 19, 18. Yeah, and these ones are nicer shaped too. Yeah, these ones are some nice mid-grade copies. Some of them are lower, but I mean, still really cool. War Stories, issue 130. Some different War Stories issues, 127. Star Spangled War, Weird War Tales. A lot of different stuff. I like the horror in here. Where Creatures Roam, number one. Oh, that's interesting. So you got issue one and six. They're in the same bag. I know, I did get some really nice EC horror stuff. Unfortunately, they're not all in perfect shape. I can go through a couple of them here. We got Spellbound, there's Weird Worlds, Adventure into Weird Worlds. So lots of these cool, like, 10 cent books. Unknown Worlds. Spellbound. These covers are really cool. It's really hard to find these 10 cent comic books. Yeah, these are really hard to find. So I feel like the condition isn't bad considering how old they are and for the fact of they're so hard to find. Menace, another 10 center, that's issue 10. So many killer covers, 10 cent comic books. And then I did find some early Avengers. We got issue 44, issue 61 of Tales to Astonish. Daredevil issue 30, this one's great. It has Thor on it. This one's a pretty solid copy. King size special number two of Avengers. Some more war stories, issue 126. Chamber of Chills, look at those covers. Yeah, these are classic horror covers. Adventures into Terror, these are so cool. Challenges of the Un known fantastic four issue 35 wow that's an early fantastic four iron fist number two. Oh, this is an awesome team up spider-man and ghost rider human torch in the hulk giant size dracula number three give you a look on the inside of these two i mean the insides of these books are really nice some of them are just kind of low grades on the outside but from what i've seen it looks like the insides are pretty intact which is awesome so angelo definitely got a cool pickup today another giant size dracula journey into mystery 122 we got 115 113 
Here's some nice journey into mysteries. 111 and Tales to Astonish. Wow, Hulk and Submariner on 99. The colors are still really nice on most of these too, which is cool since they are pretty old and the conditions are a little bit lower, but the colors still pop really nice. Tales to Astonish 97. All these Submariner covers are awesome. I know, I like that one with the skull rock. Looks like there's some more Tales to Astonish in here. 95, 91 with Abomination. Oh, that one's an awesome fight scene. 89, 88, 87. Consecutive issues here of Tales to Astonish. That's definitely a hard pickup to find nowadays. Wow, these are some awesome Tales to Astonish. Look at all these Submariner covers. I know what's crazy is the collection keeps getting cooler too. So if you oh guys, my gosh, that Iron Man card. I know, look at that. If you think these are the cool books, just wait. Oh, some Strange Tales, 155. Oh, look at that Doctor Strange cover. Wow, these are some great Silver Age pickups. I don't think we've ever picked up this many Silver Age books. Sometimes we'll get like a few in collections, but this is pretty much like all Silver Age. And I believe some of these are golden, right? Because these are a little bit older. 129, Strange Tales 124, 125 on Strange Tales. That's a cool Submariner and Thing cover. Wow, look at all these Strange Tales. Wow, look at these. They're so like nostalgic, so different from what we see nowadays, you know? Our typical collection pickups are far from far from this. Stories to hold you spellbound. I've actually never heard of that one. Beware Terror Tales, Chamber of Chills. Man, these are some awesome horror covers. Adventures into Terror, Menace. Oh, this one's a cool one. First Ronin the Accuser. Some more awesome strange tales. Good amount of Strange Tales in this collection. Oh, that's a cool Fantastic Four. A little bit of Fantastic Four back here. More Strange Tales. 149, 148, consecutive Strange Tales. 147, Thor, 131. Yeah, I got a lot of rebagging and boarding to do. But... Yeah, right? Looks like got to rebag and board everything. That happens sometimes when we pick up collections. Everything's not bagged and boarded, so just got to put a little love into it. All right, I'm going to flick through this box really quick. So I'm guessing this is the box of good stuff. Everything that's in this box is stuff that I rebagged and boarded. These are the highlights of the collection. Oh, what? Spider-Man number one, Marvel team up with Mockingbird, X-Men 175, Marvel Age with the black suit. I like that cover. You got Kermit the Frog. These are some nice condition books though for being in the same collection. Oh, there you go. 168, I love that cover. 167, double size 166. Ooh, cool Marco cover. Fantastic Four. Oh, I see She-Hulk's head. Yeah, you know what that one is? No, what is this one? That is the first time She-Hulk joins the Fantastic Four. Avengers King Size Annual first 10. First appearance of Rogue. First appearance Ooh. of Star Fox. Man, some first appearances in here. Second appearance of Monica Rambeau. Classic Daredevil. I did get an entire set. No way. Yup. What? The I whole have, thing? Yeah, I have the other oh, issues. Oh, that's awesome. The, uh, like, the back end issues are still in the box, but you'll see here in a second. Got the complete. That's, Boom. Oh my gosh, you have number eight. Wow. They had number eight. We actually just got one of these, so this will be our second one. The first one right now is actually at CGC. Planning on sending this one? I don't know. I might. Yeah. I mean, it looks pretty good. Nice Tales to Astonish, 94. Oh, look at all the Submariner goodness. Dr. Doom. Ooh, oh my gosh. Issue five. Invincible Iron Man. Colors on that's killer. Some more Tales to Astonish. Thor, 135. Some Avengers. Fantastic Four. Got some cool king size specials in here. Oh, look at that Black Panther cover on 52 Fantastic Four. Black Panther cover? Is Black Panther appearance? cover. <laughs> This is his first appearance? That is the first appearance of the Black Panther. Wow, I never knew that. That's awesome though. That's in nice condition too. Never had this one in the collection before, so that's really exciting. Angela's probably going to keep that in the PC. Issue 53, Fantastic Four. 54. Yeah, this collection is insane. Look at that. Yeah, this is crazy. Cover. 56. Wow, these are some early Fantastic Four consecutive. Oh my god, look at that Doom cover. And the colors are so nice. Yeah, we've never picked up a collection like this before, so it was definitely a shock when I went to go look at it. I feel like I got a very fair price on it, so comment down below. What would you pay for a collection like this? Yeah, comment. Let us know. Another 65, 67. That's the first appearance of him, right? Yep. It does have, you yeah, see that? Yeah, I can that? see the little, like, There's cup like stain. There's, like, a coffee yeah. ring stain right there, unfortunately. <laughs> some amazing Spider-Man oh, annual number go. four. So now we're getting some of my favorites. Oh, got some ASM. Wow, 21, 23. Oh, my gosh, look at that goblin cover. 32. Man, some early ASM. I didn't know there was early ASM in this collection. Oh, these are awesome. 33. 34 with Craven. 35. 
Oh my goodness, 36, wow. I know, isn't it crazy? This is crazy, this much early ASM all together. Good job, good pickup. Look at that one. 39, oh my gosh. Wow, this is killer, issue 40. There you go. That's oh, the big first one. Rhino, 41. Oh my gosh. And that's a pretty solid copy. I mean, it has like some spine ticks, but that's awesome. It looks pretty clean. Issue 42. There you go. You know what that is, right? No, what's this? First MJ. Oh, another one. ASM 43. That's a cool rhino cover. Wow, there's a lot of ASM in here. 44, 45. Awesome lizard cover. 46, the first shocker, I another know, first was... appearance. Oh my God, this has so many first appearances in this collection, that that's was crazy. Nice grab. I was very, what? very happy to pick that one up. 49. Boom. Oh, issue 50. Yeah, look at the cover though, unfortunately. Yeah, it's got wax on it. Exactly, I mm -hmm. think it's candle wax, mm -hmm. so I don't know, maybe Lenny can. Yeah, maybe Lenny can work some magic and get the candle wax off there. Issue 50, wow. First appearance of the Kingpin, I haven't owned that book ever before, so it was Ooh, nice. And then we got the appearance. first cover. Oh, classic Doc Ock on 53. Another Doc Ock on 54. Wow, these are so awesome. How do you not keep all these in the PC? Whoa. Sarah doesn't First even realize what she Craven. just grabbed. <laughs> First Craven on 15. I just snuck that in there in the back. I know, it's that's amazing. why I was like, wait, what's it doing back here? Issue 15, first wow. appearance of Craven the Hunter. That's awesome. Oh, that's oh my gosh, sore. we've never had that. Tales to Astonish 79 with Hercules. Oh, oh look that. at that Silver Server cover on 93. Iconic cover on 93, such a nice copy. That too. is a really nice copy. That's awesome. The colors look so great. The colors on these books are just really shocking to me with the age and Finding them all together, 160 on Strange Tales. Got some more Strange Tales in the back. Oh my gosh, yeah, this is a killer box. Yeah, lots of key issues. Yeah, a lot of keys, a lot of first appearances. We got the first Mary Jane versus Rhino. So many first appearances. I know, I'm still in shock. First Nick Fury. Oh, this is the first Nick Fury? Yeah, I'm pretty sure, 135. Oh wow, issue 134, 129. There oh, you go. Big book wow. Right there. Ghost Rider number one. Got his cool cowboy hat on. That's an awesome add to the collection. Wow. Strange Tales 129, or sorry, 126 of Strange Tales. Yeah, that's the first Dormammu. Is this the first Red Guardian? Yep, first piece wow. of Red Guardian. Issue 90, Tales to Astonish. You know what that one is? No, what is this? First Abomination. Oh, really? This is the first Abomination. Just in time for She Hulk. Shows how much I know, right? I know. Yeah, <laughs> I was pretty excited to see that one. And then I did Another get two copy, of them. Strange Tales 125. Ooh, Daredevil 18. First appearance of Gladiator. Strange Tales 172. And last one, Journey into Mystery 113. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is a crazy box. The amount of first appearances you found in that collection is actually crazy. I know. I still am in shock about yeah. all the Spider Man. The Spider Man, wow, I think, I was is not definitely. Expecting that. Some of my favorites, but I mean, they, all that stuff in there is great. Still some of the other stuff I have to go through, but lucky for you guys, we're gonna crack into this bad boy Let's right now. It. The unboxing. Let's see what we got going on here. All right, let's start over here. Amazing Spider-Man 239. This is the second Hobgoblin, 9-4. Oh, 9-4, newsstand copy though, it's still pretty cool. All right, let's see what the next one is. Battle Chasers number oh, seven. Oh, I forgot about that one. 9-4, Battle Chasers seven. 9.4, that's the J. Scott Campbell variant cover. Okay, this is a cool one. Spawn the Savage Dragon, number one. Newsstand. Newsstand, ready? 9-4. Oh man, I would have loved that to come back in 98 or 96, but that's still a really cool book. Hard to find, low print run on this, new stand copy. Yeah, I remember Angelo was on a mission to get like every single copy of this that he could. Looks like another ASM 239. Oh, and we got the little price slip in the back here. Let's see what this one is. Ooh, 96 on that one. And then how much was it? Oh, it wasn't even 400. It was only 313 for 15 bucks. Another 239. Oh, this one's gonna be 962, I think, right? Yeah, this one was a 962. Yeah. Miss Marvel 9, this is the first appearance of Deathbird. Got another 96 on that one. I remember sending that in because I thought it was a really nice copy. A 98 in that's pretty pricey, but a 96 is still pretty cool. I forgot we had two in there. Another 96 
on Miss Marvel 9. Man, it's so hard to keep track of everything. When they send you like all the emails with a bunch of different submissions, it's like, I don't even know what's in here. Oh, look, look at that one. Spider-Man number two in the 9-6. Oh, man, that would have been nice I know, it would have been nine, cool eight. in the 9-8. Nine, 9-8? Eight. Nine, eight. Oh, thank God it came back in 9-8. <laughs> yeah, right? It's not too big of a book. Even in the 9-8, I think that's a pretty cheap book. Yeah, yeah, it's a cheaper book, but it's still a cool slab. Another 9-8. Oh, I got two 9-8s, that's and These right. ones are heavy, because those are those thick books. I picked it up, I was like, wow, this one's a lot heavier than the other ones. So we got two 9-8s. Yeah, so two 9-8s for Spider-Man Unlimited, number one. I know, we got a nice stack of books so far. I know, we had a few duplicates. I know, duplicates. These 9-6s were really nice. Oh, is this another duplicate? Oh, I didn't, I didn't even know there was a second one of this one. That nine eight. Oh, that one came back a nine yeah, eight. Yeah, this one's a nine eight though, so that's cool. Oh, sick. Forgot third, about you that. said third appearance of Miles on that one. Yeah, so you got Ultimate yeah. Fallout four is the first, and then all new mm -hmm. Spider Man number one is the second, and then this would be his third. Third appearance, very cool. That's nice in a nine eight though. Moon Knight thirty. Oh, that's cool. That's one? a hard oh. one to get a nine eight. This one's sick. This I one's think from that one. Eighty three. I think I remember the grade on that. Nine eight. Oh, yeah. whoa! This did come back a nine. It did. That's a sick one to have a nine eight. I thought this was a nine six. No. Well, I don't really remember, but apparently it was a 9.8. <laughs> oh, man, look at that. This is actually a pretty pricey book in a 9.8, I think. Yeah, that's a cool one. We'll put all the prices down below. First appearance of Omega Red on X-Men 4, 9.8. That's a Which classic. Which that one was a cool one when I saw that one because it is a first appearance. So to get a 9-8 is always good. Oh, this one's sick. All new, all different Avengers. Look at that sketch cover. Yeah, this one is actually pretty crazy. Yeah, so this, this one we one, got excited. This one is a 9-8. Yeah, that's insane because this we actually got at Megacon. In a dollar booth. <laughs> yep, this was at a dollar booth. I think it was raw too. Yep, at Megacon. I sent it in to CGC. I was like, man, this is a super nice copy. And then apparently there was four of them? Yeah, there should be four. Oh, I One thought there was them. only three. Boom. This one's a 9-8. Yeah. And I thought there was only stand. three. Very cool. Let's look at all the books. All right, so let's give you an overview of the books real quick. Newsstand, Spawn. Got a bunch of different Amazing Spider-Man 239s. We got the J. Scott Campbell variant. First Omega Red. I really love that Moon Knight. First Shriek. Miles, the Miss Marvel. These Miss Marvels are sick. We got two of them. I really like that Ultimate Comic Spider-Man 9-8. And then I did find this Avengers on eBay here. Someone's asking 300 for theirs. So this is obviously a pretty cool book. Definitely a nice find in a dollar booth. That wraps it up for the CGC unboxing and for checking out the new collection. We are really excited with both. The CGC books are an awesome thing to get back after a year and the collection was probably our, one of our best collections yet. So definitely comment down below and let us know what you thought about the CGC books and about the collection. And thanks so much for watching and we will see you next time.